A treasure hunt that culminated over the weekend promised the finders $20,000. One group that went out in search of that treasure chest found something else entirely. And to those who were reunited with it tonight, it was well worth the wait. New specialist Andrew Adams has the story from Bountiful. I cannot believe you found this. Rarely does the road through life intersect meaningfully at a strip mall. I'm going to call him and find out what time he's going to be here. Inside a simple office space, Patrick Packer What's that? was meeting up with old friends. Where is the dude? The dude with the glory. And yet this unlikely reunion was set in motion 34 years ago. You know how excited we are to see that box there. We were super excited to find it. We it, it was a, a moment in time. I it was a pipe bomb at first. I thought it was going to explode. Captured by the contents of a long forgotten capsule. <laughs> to me, this is a big deal. How did we misinterpret a poem's clues to still find buried treasure? Kevin Richard was part of the group that accidentally found the offerings of Varsity Boy Scout Team 6210 on Francis Peak above Bountiful. And then this is the view from, from where it was at. The cassette tape, picture, and handwritten notes turned up instead while the group was on the hunt for a hidden $20,000 prize. It felt like more than the $20,000, you know? Like, like, I feel like this stuff... I can't take $20,000 and give you memories back. Richard tracked down members of the old troop. <laughs> well, we know how much film costs. April 19th, 1986. This coin is here now five years old, but maybe it will bring its finder some good fortune. <laughs> to this group. Mike Shoemake, Troy and I have been friends since uh, fifth grade. The memories were, in fact, Priceless. It brought me back to um, our very first scoutmaster, who was my dad. The journey to today would have been hard to foresee. Yeah, we felt like the Goonies when we opened that thing. And along this we road, hey, some might call it destiny. That's it. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> So one of the people in the group had promised to whoever found the capsule a certain amount of money, depending on how long it took to actually find it. While well, it amounted to $200, the finders say they'll gladly give it to charity.